This automation replies to every single one of your YouTube comments on autopilot and I'm gonna show you how you can build it step by step. When you're running a business and doing a million other things, responding to YouTube comments kind of becomes a back thought. Even though you wanna generate that kind of community atmosphere around your YouTube channel, it can be really challenging to find the time to do that. So that's exactly why I built this automation right here. So it all starts with this YouTube watch new comments module. So every single time you get a new comment on any video you've uploaded, it will come through this module right here. And this is exactly how I've configured it. I essentially have watch comments and channel. You can also change this to video if you only want the AI to respond to comments that have been left on a certain video, but I've just left it to channel. And then you also need to get a channel ID. So this is exactly how you can go and find your channel ID. Firstly, this is my YouTube channel. So subscribe if you haven't already. I do do these long step-by-step -step tutorial videos on here as well, but they're actually in that wide format. So they're much easier to follow along than perhaps on TikTok, which is more vertical. And this is exactly how you can go and find your channel ID. So the first thing you need to do is click on your profile photo in the top right, and then go to settings. And once you go to settings, you go to advanced settings and your channel ID should be right here. And you simply just click copy and you go back to here and then just paste it into channel ID section right here. You can also use the ID finder on make.com, but I just found it to be a little bit meh. You can try it out and see how it goes. Otherwise you can always just do it via your YouTube account. Awesome. So now that we've actually got the comments flowing through from our YouTube account, what do we do next? Well, there's a slight kink with this automation is that the first module, the trigger module, which is the watch new comments is not a webhook. What a webhook means is it instantly goes and gets data as soon as it arrives. But this one is actually on a timer, so it only grabs data at a certain point on the day, which you can specify. And how you specify when you want this data to come is by using this every 15 minutes button here. If you go and click this, you can change it to run at any time you want. So you can do once every day, day of the week, absolutely any time. I just run it every single 15 minutes. So this will go and grab every single comment that someone's left on my YouTube channel within you know, the last 15 minutes. So that leads me nicely onto my next module, which is the array aggregator. And the reason we need the array aggregator is because we're gonna get a bunch of comments that come in the last 15 minutes. You might even get one or two, depending how popular your YouTube channel is. But you know, we're gonna try and future-proof this when we actually grow to another level on YouTube. So you're gonna get a bunch of comments in the last 15 minutes. And that's why you need this array aggregator because you want it to go and combine and go through every single one of those comments. So we want it to go and aggregate all those comments we just got and we want all of these different fields to be filled out and that's comment ID, channel ID, video ID. So, you know, we have as much data and that's all gonna compile into one set piece of array. And now that we've got it all in one array, we actually want to reply to each comment individually. And that's where this iterator comes. So this array might have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten comments, however many comments it has. And we want to go through each one individually. And that's why you use an iterator here. And all you do is pass in the array that we've aggregated in the last module. These two modules here are some of the most important modules that you need to know in make.com. It's a great way to format data and have the automation do exactly what you want it to do. Go through each comment individually, because if you don't put this module in here, it won't go and do that. So there are some amazing resources on where you can learn about the iterator and array aggregator. And I'm also gonna be creating more in-depth videos at some point in the future around these two modules. So go and check them out if you're looking to build out automations on make.com. Great, so now that we have every single comment that is going to be responded to, how exactly do we respond to these comments? And this is where AI comes in really useful. And that's where we have this OpenAI ChatGPT module, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's set up. But essentially what this module does is it reads through the comment, and we've prompted it in such a way that it fosters a great community, and it will go and respond to that comment in a positive way. So here's the prompt for this module, and this is exactly how we get it to come up with the right responses to every single comment we get, whether sometimes they might be a bit negative, sometimes might be a bit positive. There's a variety of different types of comments, you know, you get on YouTube channels. So this is exactly how we have it respond to every single one. So you are an AI assistant tasked with replying to YouTube comments on behalf of content creators. Your goal is to engage with the audience in a positive and constructive manner. 
here is the instructions for completing this task. So the first thing we do is go and feed it the actual YouTube comment. So now that it's got the comment, we also want it to analyze the comment and understand kind of the tone of it so that way it can generate a proper response. So we go analyze the comment, determine the overall tone, whether it's positive, negative, neutral, or mixed, and identify the main points or questions that might be raised by that comment. So once it's gone and analyzed all the things we wanted to analyze about that comment, we then want it to actually go and craft the response based on what it's analyzed. So we want to obviously craft the response in a friendly and respective manner. We don't want it to say anything absurd. If the comment is positive, then you know we want to say thank you for leaving a great comment on our video. We really appreciate it. If the comment is negative, we want to reply in a constructive and positive way, acknowledge their concerns and provide a thoughtful response. We don't want to go and berate them back because that's just not professional, not the type of community we want to have, especially around our AI automation agency, Pluto AI. We want to have a really positive community and we want to make sure if someone has a really negative comment, why they've left that negative comment and how we can do better. And of course, if the commenter is asking us a question, we want to provide a really clear and concise answer to this. And sometimes if your video is super technical and you are getting a bunch of questions about this video, you can go and create your own AI agent and essentially change this from a create a completion prompt to a message assistant prompt and feed that AI agent with all the information you have in here about responding to those questions and it will go and respond to them for you. And that's super, super powerful when you know it's kind of like an assistant within your own comment box. We always wanna maintain a positive and supportive tone that aligns with the channel's voice. And of course, we don't want to avoid an engaging in arguments or responding to trolls that might be in our YouTube comments. And if appropriate, encourage further engagement. Let me know what you think or stay in tune for more content. This way we get more repeat people viewing our videos, more subscribers, which is really great for our channel. We also don't want the other things that ChatGPT might respond with like, oh, here's a response to this YouTube comment and then actually give us the response because when we pass that into the future modules, it's gonna to respond to that comment like, here is the response to this comment and then actually give the response, which kind of looks like an AI has gone and generated the response, which isn't great. So that's why we have this section here, which is provide your reply in the following format. And then we put it in these tags here, reply and reply. This means we can actually go and separate out the actual reply section from anything else the AI has said when giving us the response to the comment. Lastly, we also wanna prompt the AI to know that our goal within our channel is to foster a positive community. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We want it to err on the side of caution and provide generic responses rather than trying to be too specific and be wrong because that's not super ideal either. So that's the prompt we've got set up here. You can of course adjust it to match your own brand and your, your own channel's voice, but this is exactly how we do it here. Great, so now that AI has gone and responded to our comment, what do we do next? Well, the next thing we wanna do is actually extract the comment from whatever the AI has said. And remember those tags I put there? That's what this text parser is going to use to extract the comment. So we've used something called regex, which is a regular expression, which will then go and look for that little tag within the block of text the AI has responded with and just grab the comment in the middle. And this is exactly how this text parser is set up. So we've got the pattern for the regex here. And this looks quite complicated, but if you give me one second, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get this super easy without any technical knowledge. And this is how the settings and everything is all set up. And then lastly, we have text over here and we just put the chat GPT result in here. So this way, based on this pattern, this text parser will go and match whatever the response is out from chat GPT based on this pattern over here. I can understand if you're not super technical, this regex stuff sounds crazy. And when I show you a pattern like this, it looks kind of like an alien language, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get it. And it's super, super easy. So what you need to do is go to ChatGPT and just give it an example of what you want the regex to do. So you put reply, which is our tags, and then regex to only get your crafted reply to YouTube comment goes here. So we only want this middle section here between these two tags, right? And this is kind of a vague prompt, but ChatGPT understand, has understood exactly what I wanted. So we're right here. So to extract the specific text, your craft reply to YouTube comment goes here. And from the given string, using a regular expression, 
it just gives you the actual registry expression and you can just go and copy and paste this into make.com. And ChatGPT will even give you a breakdown of why it's put each one of these characters into the regex. So you can kind of understand exactly how this regex works. And if I flick back to our automation here, as you can see, it's exactly the same regex as what was there in ChatGPT. And then this will go and separate that comment out from whatever the AI is spouting to us. And lastly, the last module here is just a YouTube reply to a comment module. This is exactly how I've set up this YouTube reply to a comment module. It's just set up with a comment ID, which we grabbed from the iterator and also the content from our text parser. And this will then just go and reply to the comment with that comment ID. Super, super useful. So if you enjoyed this video, it really mean the world to me if you could interact with it. It helps out a ton and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much.